My name is Rinku Bhattacharya. Welcome to Flavor Bets. That's traveling through the alphabet, working through the flavors of my kitchen. Today we are at B and we are going to talk about black pepper. Black pepper comes in the form of these black peppercorns. They are actually dried berries and they infuse a lovely mild to medium heat into your foods. Actually, it's the traditional way to add heat into Indian food. Chilies came to India much, much later. The Portuguese actually brought in chilies during the spice trade. What's fun about black peppercorns is they are extremely versatile. You can, of course, add them to Indian curries. You can add them over pizza. You can add them to fried eggs. And my favorite way to enjoy black pepper is with pasta, with a nice dose of Parmesan cheese, of course. And in order to control the degree of heat that black pepper is adding to your food, you need to control the grind. So the finer the black pepper is ground, usually the more potent and prominent the heat is. Of course, you have to work with fresh black peppercorns. My favorite is something called telicherry black peppercorns, which comes from southern India. But there are other good varieties. I think I'd emphasize fresh over where you're getting and sourcing your black pepper from. Black peppercorns, like a lot of other spices, have a lot of health benefits. They are rich in antioxidants. They are anti-inflammatory. They help you with colds and sinuses. They help prevent cancer and may help in lowering your blood pressure. So a lot of flavor, a lot of fun, a lot of health benefits from one little berry. So next time you want to perk up something with something right there in your kitchen, go looking for black pepper. And the fun part of it is, like all spices, you want to store it in a cool, dark place. But I love using my pepper mill to store it. I mean, think about it. You're saving space and providing storage.